Welcome, folks. Today we'll be talking about Joe Biden's American plan. Before you jump into this video here, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you want to, please subscribe and ring the bell for future updates. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. All comments are welcome. President Joe Biden will propose a sweeping $1.8 trillion plan Wednesday for National pa Family Paid Leave, Universal Pre-Kindergarten, Free Community College, and Subsidized Child Tax Care, and what would be a dramatic federal expansion of the social safety net for families and children. whole lot of things, including bringing the minimum wage up to federal minimum wage up to $15 an hour, and a whole lot of stuff. We'll try to touch on most of the most important plans that he has in this American plan, family plan here. There's still a lot to it, too much to put in a video. So I'll just try to bring up the most important ones, I think. As with all presidents in his plan to try to be president here, he's offered the world to everyone to get elected, as all presidents do. So we'll see what he do here, but I don't see how he's going to, the government's going to be able to afford all this, but we will see. Biden is set to formally introduce his American Families Plan at his first address before a joint session of Congress Wednesday night. It's the second piece of his Build Back Better economic agenda following the release of a $2.3 trillion infrastructure and jobs plan released earlier this month. He was able to keep up by getting the stimulus payment out. It wasn't as quick as what we thought, but it was quick enough, better than last year, how long we waited for the second stimulus. We will see how all this goes here and if what they will get approved, what they won't. They need to get Republicans and Democrats to agree on some of this. It shouldn't just be done without the Republicans. It needs to be both part. That's why they're elected and in office. Build as a generation investments in our future to out-compete China and transform the U.S. economy, the family plan includes $1 trillion in spending over the next 10 years, according to senior administration officials who agreed to discuss the specifics of the condition of anonymy. An additional $800 billion would cover targeted tax credits for the middle class. The proposal to Congress would be paid for in part through a crackdown on tax loopholes used by high-income tax filers. Biden also wants to nearly double the capital gains tax from a 20% rate to 39.6 for households making more than $1 million, among other changes. The plan is certainly to be sharply criticized by Republicans and Democrats who already oppose his jobs plan includes $225 billion for a national paid family and medical leave program. It would offer workers partial employment assistance for three months to be with a new child, rehabilitate from an illness, care for a disabled loved one, deal with their partner's military deployment, or address emergencies. I think that is very great. I hope that one passes. That would really help out the American people tremendously, especially families like that. Up to $4,000 per month would be available in paid leave for individuals who participate with a minimum of two-thirds of average weekly wages, wages and increases to 80% for the lower wage workers. An additional $225 billion would go toward covering child care costs for low-income and middle-class parents with children, five or younger. It comes as more women left the workforce last year to care for young children during a coronavirus pandemic. A study cited by the White House found $57 million in lost earnings and productivity because of lack of child care options. The program would pay for all child care costs of neediest families. Those who earn 1.5 times their state median income would pay no more than 7% of their income. Pre-K for all regardless of family income. Biden is proposing $200 billion to make free pre-kindergarten available to all three- and four-year-olds regardless of their family incomes. This would be made primarily through partnerships with states 
but the federal government would seek to work directly with preschool in states that don't participate. I don't know about that. The national pre-K expansion would benefit 5 million children and save the average family $13,000, according to the White House. The plan also calls for $109 billion to make community colleges in the U.S. free, allowing all first-time students and workers in participating states to pay no money for two years of community college to earn a degree on credential or credentials. The program would be available to dreamers, undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children. I just do not see, folks, how this could possibly be paid for. It is so expensive to have children in college, so I don't know about how they would make it free and the government be able to pay for it. If it would work, that would be great, but I just don't see how. Biden's proposal comes after several states, including Tennessee, New York, Oregon, and Rhode Island, have transitioned to free community college. Like the pre-K program, states would have to partner with the federal government to receive the federal funding. If each state does, an estimated 5.5 million students would attend community college for free. The plan would extend the enhanced child tax credit that were passed in Biden's $1.9 trillion America Rescue Plan through 2025, falling short of demands of many progressive Democrats to make the credits permanent. The plan would also make permanent American Rescue Plan tax credits for family with child care needs and workers who don't have children. That would be a very great plan there. Hopefully that will get through and get passed. That would really benefit the children and the parents, which I am all for. That would really help out a lot to these folks. The primary health care provision in the plan is $200 billion to make health care premium reduc reductions passed in the Affordable Cares Act permanent. There's another great one I hope passes. The plan leaves out Medicare expansions. The proposal would not lower the age eligibility requirements for Medicare to expand coverage or take steps to lower prescription drug prices. Two other areas pushed by many Democrats in Congress and liberal advocacy groups. I don't know why they wouldn't push it to lower prescription prices to folks that are on a fixed income or retired or SSI disability or VA disability or just retired VA. I don't know why in the world they wouldn't do that, but that's our government at times, folks. Seems like if our senior citizens, people on Medicare, uh, retired people, SSI disability people, or retired military, it seems like they should get all free prescription drugs. I'm sure the American people would be happy for that. And if they could get severe help with rental assistance and paying their rent and everything, they should be taken care of. I'm all for senior citizens and disabled people to be taken care of by the American people. And I think most American people would agree with me on that.